We're back with Zacharia Pinball. Time to play some Red Show Deluxe. I like the format of the deluxe tables with the rubber ring in the middle and the two flippers. It makes it so that you have a wide gap, but it also opens up the shots a little bit since the flippers are further apart. And it's not brutal because you got that little that little rubber ring in the middle. Oh, it's gonna come back. Uh, so this is simulation mode which changed in the last update from, wasn't looking there, which changed in the last update. They made it harder for sure. It's much faster as you can tell if you follow this platform. The only thing that's easier is that they give you a little bit more tilt sensitivity so you can nudge more, but overall it's definitely harder. Which, oh, got a kick back there. Which begs the question, should they reset the leaderboards? for simulation mode. I had the luxury of doing all the SS tables during the change, so I got to play them all before the patch and after the patch on simulation mode. Okay. Oh. Let's See. try that again. Uh. And I can definitely say that achieving the objectives are way harder on simulation mode, even with the extra sensitivity that they allow you. So I don't know, I don't think they should wipe the leaderboards, they should just filter it for whoever completed it since the last patch on Simulation 3 Ball and Simulation 5 Ball. But uh, you can tell me what you think in the comments. We don't mind here at Game Test Play. And when I say we, I mean I. Speaking of comments, um, I noticed that YouTube has been filtering a lot of the comments for me. And uh, I don't appreciate that for many reasons. The biggest one is that like, when people comment on a video and then it doesn't show up, they might think that I deleted it when I didn't. It was YouTube deleting it or hiding it, shadow banning it, filtering it, whatever you want to call it. And it's uh, not good for my brand, it's not good for anybody's brand really. So as long as, as long as these platforms continue to do that and prevent people from communicating, I don't see them staying around much longer, for real. It really pisses me off, because the comments that get deleted aren't even, like, controversial or anything. They're just like, oh, hey, cool video, I'm gonna bang it up for you, uh, by the way, do more of this. And I'm like, really? That got filtered? So, I do feel bad for people who comment and, uh, they get deleted. I'll try to reply to more of them, but, like I said, you know, I'm not getting notified in certain things. Mm. Small technical problem, folks. We are back soon. Another thing. The wizard... The wizard scores. Which was supposed to be like, kind of like a super score, except instead of the tables, it's like you the collection of modes or scores from all the modes. That got suspended for a while. Um, I reached out to the dudes, the developers. And they're like, oh yeah, we're not doing the wizard scoreboards anymore. Because I was wondering why it wasn't showing up. I guess they're trying to figure out a way to do it. A way to calculate the uh, wizard Ooh. scores for each of the tables. And my suggestion is to make it uh, kind of like a super score of the 10 modes. Now the 10 modes would be like the, the six extra modes. Challenge, Survivor, Checkpoint, 90 Second, um, Lamps, and the other one targets, and then 3-ball and 5-ball simulation and arcade. You take like a super score of each of those out of 100 and then add them together so that like your uh, total high score could be out of 1,000 and that would be your wizard score for the table. And I, would g I wouldn't count um, user, user setting modes because that runs into a problem because you can actually make the user physics so easy that you could keep the ball up indefinitely. And we wouldn't want that. Oh, man. Well, we would want it in certain situations like this, but you understand. So I think it should be something like that. I think they should bring back the wizard score and implement it because then you can go through all the modes and like really experience the table and get a good idea of how you're placing on each of the tables. And then on top of that, do a, do a super score of all the tables. And that would be the, the, 
wizard super score of Zacharia Pinball. Let me know what you think in the comments, because I'm, I'm really interested in that coming back. It seems like a good idea. I think they initially had something like that, but then they, they scrapped it for some reason. I'm curious about all that. I'm relatively new to this. I only discovered this, I don't know, like less than a half a year ago, I guess. Whoa. Time to start world tour. But I've really been enjoying it, enjoying it a lot more. Since I've gotten Ooh. since I've gotten better <laughs> in theory. Combo. Double combo. There we go. Oh man, I totally forgot about that. I've only reached that a couple times so far. I've been mostly trying to focus on doing the modes of this table. This isn't going to be like one of those, um, you know, table guides or table studies. I'm just trying to chill out right now. I was going to do spooky for the whole Halloween theme, but uh, technical, technical glitches aside, I was able to, I had to change what I was doing, so. Now we're on Red Show, Red Show Deluxe, and I like this table blanket statement. I don't want to go too much into detail because I want to save that for a for a rankings video. I'm still working on them. I'll come out with the EM soon. The EM ranking tables. I hope you enjoy those and if you haven't uh, checked out the previous SS Solid All Ranked Table Guide whatever you want to call it, you should check that out because that's pretty cool. Um, Tokyo. What, what am I doing for Tokyo? I forget. You activate missions by hitting the left uh, xylophone targets. That's what I'm calling them. They look like like skinny spot targets. Okay. And um, ooh, and that'll activate a mode. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the green triangles. And then you hit the the lock the lock hole, whatever it's called, and that'll start a mode. Ooh. Let's go. And with Red Show, mm, I'm not familiar with all the modes so far, but it That's seems like uh, you don't need to complete to them. People. Most of them or some of them. You just need to finish them and then it'll light the lamp. Ooh. And you can uh, continue from there. I haven't reached the wizard on this yet. I don't anticipate I will today, but who knows. I like the deluxe tables though. I like what they did with the flippers being wide, but still having that little uh, rubber nub in the middle so that you have a lot of different possible shots. Mode failed. Okay, so you can fail some modes. Some modes you can fail, other ones you have to complete. Bad example. Whatever. I know I was doing Budapest or something and I wasn't failing it, so uh, it's like it's it's a dead flip, so you're not doing anything, but you're still okay. like, well, that was just a that, that was a sorry case. It looks so easy too when I first popped into uh, the deluxe tables. It's like, oh, it has that little thing in the middle. I'm fine, but you still get caught up by it and uh, always have to second guess yourself at the last minute. And I don't know what they're gonna call that, like. What, what should you call that when the ball comes straight down and hits the, the, the plunger in the middle? It's not a, de it's not a dead flip because you're not flipping. It should be called a dead something though. Come up with your own name in the comments. But I'm sure YouTube will censor it because you said dead. It's gotten really bad guys with some of these. They call them algorithms? Dude. I'm tired of the word algorithm too because a lot of it is being manually reviewed. And if you tinker with the algorithm every few minutes, it's not really an algorithm. Okay, we're going to continue and we're gonna try, we're gonna do arcade three ball. Then we're gonna wrap this up. I just wanted to jump on for a minute and let you guys know what's going on. This will be like a channel update slash Zacharia Pinball thoughts and miscellaneous. Should be able to hit that, come on. I blame the angle I'm sitting at. It's all right.
I must say the, uh, the women on the playfield are very modestly dressed for this. Compared to some of the older tables. It is great going back and playing the EM tables and looking at the back glass and some other details that get a little bit overlooked. It's amazing what they got away with. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, what, what was that? Did you see that? I think the ball jumped. I'm using the disco ball. That's another new addition, by the way. They uh, added balls, like, um, like a rainbow ball, a disco ball. And it does help a little bit on some tables. I like the disco ball because you can kind of see the the curve the curve a little bit better. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, let's try oh. that again. My fault. They're pretty um, forgiving with the ball save on this. So in the beginning of your ball, don't be afraid to lose it because you can't. I like to nudge left to get that uh, orbit shot uh, as I screw it up. It's one of the tricky things about, about pinball. You know, I do play it quietly by myself and it's a little bit easier. But sometimes you can get into the vibe by like talking and playing. It's a little bit of a different mindset though, kind of like ping pong. I've been playing ping pong lately too, like IRL ping pong. Table tennis, whatever the hell you want to call it. They call it ping pong here in China too, so whatever. No one's offended by the use of that term, I promise you. Whoa. Uh, see, I don't have the missions uh, activated yet. I gotta hit five spot targets on the left. Whoa. And then it'll come back. I feel more at home with the arcade mode. At least starting out with uh, these tables. I haven't mastered any of the deluxe yet. I'm not gonna pretend I have. That's why I'm doing the SS and the EM tables first. And hopefully I'll get to the remakes. But those, um, those ranking videos take quite a bit of time, so I appreciate, I appreciate all the shares and all the you metrics the that come along with that. Thank you guys. Cause, cause it, it's different doing those than it is doing this. Like with those, they're kind of like scripted and fleshed out. And I try to put a lot of thought into them so that they don't become dated. They come, kind of become timeless. Whereas most of like the live streamy type, uh, off the cuff stuff, that's more of like in the times. Uh. And remember, the the tables are subject to change a little bit. Like they're always updating and improving the stuff. So I'm pretty sure they got most of the original tables squared away at this point. So I'm more comfortable, sort of giving my final opinions on those than the deluxe tables. Even the red show, red show is really great. I don't know which my favorite is yet. I'll give my opinion when all of them come out, however long that takes. It's really cool what they're doing with their IPs though. Okay. They're like bringing them back Let's and remaking them and, and deluxifying them. So, they put a lot of love, the developers, into the Zacharia brand. Which is cool because it's going to bring up the value of these tables tremendously. I haven't even heard of these and uh, apparently other people haven't either. They're pretty rare tables. Whoa. Man, I'm really sucking at this. I'm really sorry. I know. Everyone's pissed right now. I can't make the skill shot, but I made it. Oh, you like that? That was sweet. And I really like these xylophone targets. It's just, it's such a simple no concept, way. these, these thin little people. spot targets, but they really add a whole different feel to the table. And if you hit them right, let me try this. That wasn't what I was going for, but whatever. Oh. 
They kind of twist a little bit too. It makes the ball twist when you hit them. All right, what do we do now? Budapest, okay. I have to get at least one of the, the modes done to have a respectable game. They recently just... It recently just came out on Switch and a couple other platforms too, I think, so... People who are looking at, like, pinball games, definitely check this out if you haven't already. And I know, like, the, the only problem is, like, it's getting buried with all these other pinball games. Because, like, pinball's having a resurgence, obviously. And you see all these, like, kind of cheap knockoff pinball games. And a lot of people download them not knowing, like, the quality of them, and then they're disappointed. And I can tell you for sure, Zacharia is is top level stuff. Like, it's competing with uh, Pinball FX at this point for my favorite platform. But if you download, like, some of the other, like, little dinky ones, it's like, eh. Okay, yeah, so Budapest is complete. Now we're doing on to London, and you don't need to re-hit the five spot targets to, um, to continue, unless you lose the ball. So that you, you can continue completing all the, well, completing, completing all the missions faster. And I appreciate that. It's good. Makes it less repetitive. The main thing I, I wanted to talk about with this table are, are two things. One, the simulation mode. Let me know what you think. Should they reset the leaderboards? Because I can, I don't think I'll ever beat my scores uh, pre-patch. It was just way too, it was, it was more similar to arcade mode pre-patch. And now it's like simulation mode is its own thing. Like, it's way tougher. So I don't think anybody's gonna improve their score without like serious effort. And the second thing was wizard scores. What do you think about that? The, the 10 modes being distributed like 100 points, kind of like a super score for 1,000 points to see who wins the table or who's the best at the table. I think that would be pretty cool if they can bring that back. I think that's what they were going for. I don't know why it was shut down. I don't really know. Let me know what you think. And let them know what you think because they definitely read the comment section. Mode failed. Aw oh, man. Which one was that? So you can fail some modes. Some you can fail, some you just have to get around. Oh. Two million. Thank you. Like I said, I was a little hesitant to do this at first because I'm not a master of these deluxe tables yet. I'm not gonna pretend I am, but I want to be. Because they're pretty engaging. Like, I definitely like the, the format and the layout they got. I finished the EM tables, like, um, finished meaning, like, the video's almost ready to go. Maybe it'll come out in a couple weeks, we'll see. But I finished, um, doing all the SS and EM tables. So as soon as I, I finished editing that, the whole editing part, you know, that takes forever, guys. I'll probably move on to the remakes. We'll see. What am I doing? What's it asking? I'll, I'll hit the spot targets for more. Spot targets are tricky though. Guy, kind of, I usually let them ha happen naturally. I still haven't got a ooh multi ball yet. That's I think that's done in the middle, hitting that middle shot on this table. I don't really read I don't really read the rules too much, except like no, towards the end. I like to kind of just figure it out we naturally. What do you do? Do you actually read the instructions? Technical problem, folks. We are back soon. 